Uh, we are getting closer and closer to seeing Crew 11 dock with the International Space Station, expecting that docking time to happen at 11.26 p.m. Pacific time. And again, really cool views. You could see Dragon getting clearer and clearer uh, and closer and closer to the International Space Station in this view. Again, we've got the dark background. That means that there's space behind Dragon. So it's moving from that waypoint zero, which was between Earth and the International Space Station. Now it's probably closer to being um, right next to the space station. And in your bottom left-hand corner, you can see the range or the distance from the space station, which is 380, 81 meters from the space station. There's a, there's a better view to see uh, a little bit more what that distance looks like as the Dragon spacecraft gets closer and closer to the station. And that's a wonderful view from Dragon to the International Space Station. And there you can see that backside of space station in shadow as the sun just off to that left-hand side of Earth. That is such a cool space, view. <laughs> as the Dragon spacecraft now making its way up over top of the International Space Station. That gives you great perspective of where they're heading. That space-facing port, that zenith port of the Harmony module. So you had them, when we originally started, they were just underneath the International Space Station. Then they swung up to be right about in line to where the Crew-10 Dragon is, that forward port. Well, now they have a little bit more ways to go. And there's a great illustration in the middle of that screen there, that Dragon where the line kind of swooshes around the circle. That's the Dragon spacecraft. And it needs to get to the top of that circle, representing the International Space Station, before it can properly align itself to the docking access and get ready to close in for those final few moments before docking itself. But this gives a great illustration of that flying up and over top maneuver that Endeavor is currently experiencing. Two meters, through his hands off. Two meters. There was that call out for CHOP. Crew hands One off. Meter. One meter. Dragon contact and soft capture complete. Dragon captured. And there's the call. NASA SpaceX Crew 11 has arrived to the International Space Station with docking at 2.27 a.m. Eastern Time, 264 miles over the Southeast Pacific Ocean. Again, if you're just joining us, Crew 11 docked to the International Space Station zenith port of the Harmony module at 1.27 a.m. Central Time. Now coming through the hatch is Roscosmos cosmonaut Oleg Platonov. This is his very first visit to the International Space Station. Some big hugs there with NASA astronaut Nicole Ayers and Johnny Kim. and continuing to get a warm welcome aboard the International Space Station for him, again, first-time flyer. And next through the hatch is JAXA, or Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Kimi Yu. And now we have NASA astronaut Mike Fink for his fourth time to the International Space Station. And now coming into view is Zena Cardman. Again, her first time on board the International Space Station as well. Lots of smiles and hugs. Eleven humans on board the International Space Station now. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, everybody on the ground from the International Space Station. And uh, Endeavour crew, welcome on board. Yokoso, Dabro Pajalabach. 
And we are so happy and excited to see your smiling faces. And Zina, Oleg, congratulations on your first space flight. We are looking forward to hearing your impressions and your feelings about that. And Mike and Kimia, welcome back. Your experience will be an invaluable asset for Expedition 73. And we have a very busy handover period ahead of us, but I'm really looking forward to working with each of you. So now I will pass the microphone to Crew 11 Commander Zina Cardman. You can tell I'm new. Hello. <laughs> this has been the absolute journey of a lifetime. We are so incredibly grateful to be here. Thank you so much for this warm welcome. It was such an unbelievably beautiful sight to see the space station come into our view for the first time, especially with these wonderful crewmates. Oleg and I, both for the first time, and of course, Mike and Kimia san have so much experience that they bring to this team with deep gratitude to everyone who got us ready for this moment. Thank you so much. Over to you, Mike. Thank you, Zena, and uh, thank you to the Expedition 73 crew. Uh, we, you have made uh, it, uh, us feel so welcome. We are so glad to be here. We're happy to join you, and uh, we will uh, do our best to help the 73 crew who's uh, on Crew 10 to get home safely. Your friends and family are waiting for you. In the meantime, this is a beautiful space station, and it's so good to be back, and we're here to, uh, to take good care of it and help do our very best. Oh, thank you very much for a uh, warm floor. Very, very good welcome. And I'm so grateful to be here. Uh, we have great uh, crew, 11 crew members, and also this expedition members. Yeah, I'm very looking forward to working with them and make this uh, Expedition 73 the best. I work hard. Thank you. Thank you, Kibia san. Uh, I'm Alek Platonov, and I am also uh, would like to say thank you very much so for so warm meeting. And I believe and I hope we will uh, have incredible and unbelievable time on board. И спасибо моим коллегам, будущим соэкипажникам. Я также благодарю вас за такую теплую встречу. И спасибо всем на земле, кто готовил меня и наш экипаж. И сделал все возможное, чтобы отправить нас сюда. Мы обещаем выполнить все наши задачи на самые высокие оценки и продвигать человечество в области космонавтики только вперед. Спасибо. Ура. Thank you, guys, and once again, welcome on board the International Space Station. And Houston, uh, back with you. We are, that, that concludes our event. Thank you to all participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications. Station Houston, back with you on two for big picture rest of the day.